Hey everybody, in here. I already had my coffee. I forgot to film while I was having my coffee, but that's all right. I'm just out surveying the property, seeing if any limbs have fallen down. I'm going to tackle the rest of that wood today, that's for sure. Um, you know, I'm always out here looking for mushrooms, but I don't think there are any more mushrooms to be found out here. Although, I did find a really weird mushroom the other day when I was out in back of my property looking for wood. I was out gathering wood to bring up to the tiny house to cut up and I happened across this weird mushroom. Look at that. I have never seen one like this. I have never seen one in a book. It's infested with bugs, but um, it's got a hole on top. Is this one of those stinkhorn mushrooms? I'm going to try and carefully, I don't want to disturb it. It looks like it's just growing in um, leaf litter. So I'm going to, I'm going to leave this here. There's nothing I can do with it. I don't think it's edible. I'm just going to see how it develops and what it does. But look at that. Is that not the weirdest thing? Oh my gosh. There's what it looks like coming out of the earth. Looks like there's a, like a little something that came out of a bale. <laughs> like it sprouted forth from a from an egg or something. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. It's the next day and I went out and checked on this here mushroom and it's basically declining. But um, I did go ahead and take it out of the ground and it's got like roots and there's a whole bunch more of these roots left in the ground. So maybe we'll get some more next year and I'll get to study them. But it's like spongy. And then this is very spongy too. And there is an odor to it. So I think this is just a kind of a stink horn. I don't know what kind. Look at that. It's hollow down in there. What's down in there? Ooh, it smells funny. I don't know how to describe the odor, but yeah. <laughs> I know what this reminds me of. I know you guys are thinking about it too, but whatever. Yeah, it's a cool mushroom. I'm going to find out what this is. That's what it looks like underneath the cap. Isn't that weird? Look at that. Just kind of spongy. Yeah, I've been digging in the dirt. <laughs> First thing in the morning. Definitely a weird looking mushroom. Turns out this is just a common stink horn and its name is very fitting because it is very, very stinky and it attracts flies and other bugs and they go out and uh, deposit the spores here and there and everywhere. That is the egg. They call it a vulva, not a vulva, but a vulva, V-O-L-V-A. That's the egg thingy tore apart and that's what it looks like on the inside. It is the weirdest thing ever. It was 29 degrees last night, and I still got pretty flowers. I just love these things. I hate to see them go. That's all I've got left, and I'm going to get this tackled today. I have cut up the last of the poplar logs. Yep, I put most of them in here, but um, I'm going to show you another stack that I put out in the sun. See that color? I mean, it's still green, but it's not soggy. Here, let me show you these. Well, these were in the sun earlier. Um, these are, these were from the base of the tree. And it is, notice the color, it's darker. I mean, it is just soggy wet. There's no way I'm going to even put these in with the other uh, pieces because it, they're just too wet. In fact, I pulled some of the stuff off that was just rotten. I may pull that off too because that's going to take forever. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, so that's not going anywhere near the rest of the wood. Um, if it starts raining or if rain is in the forecast, I'll bring it in the shed, but this is just too soggy wet to put close to the other kind of dryish wood. Done. Finally done stacking it. I did some rearranging. Um, this, of course, is the cedar, but I put more poplar underneath of it. Um, poplar, poplar. That's a nice big stack of wood, and I got this stack of wood over there, too. So I think I can rest for a few days. What do you guys think? One thing I can tell you is that every day is a constant process of gathering resources. Right now, I gotta go get some water and some clean water and take it inside the tiny house. 
Uh, I gotta filter some more water through the Berkey. I've got to build a new water filter very soon because that old one, it's been sitting too long. Um, and each day that I burn wood, I gather more wood. All I gotta say is thank goodness for this little wagon here. It has served me so well. And these, these are actually pretty heavy. There's no way I could carry it all the way from the water tank to the tiny house. So, yeah, awesome. I don't even try and carry these things inside the house anymore. They're just too heavy. I just fill up this little three gallon jug here and I take it and fill up my red bucket, fill up the Berkey, and fill up another little container so I can have some water for a few days. Yeah, every couple of days I've got to do this with the water. And if I've got, if I don't need to use that one, I'll just put it on the side of the tiny house and I'll take this one back, fill it up again and put it in the shed. Because my, my big water tank is totally full right now and if it rains, it's just gonna go everywhere. So I like to have a little bit of spare on hand. I didn't completely empty this one, so I'm just going to keep it on the side of the tiny house for the next time I need to fill up a jug or something. And then this one here is empty. Um, I'm going to take it back over to the big water tank and wash out the inside. I sanitize the inside and refill it, and then I'll put it in the shed. Hooray, this one's all filled up. Yeah, I lost a little cap, so I just put a little piece of foil over it. Oh, and now I have to try and lift this <laughs> and put it into the wagon. Oh my gosh, oh, I need both hands. Seven gallons, about five gallons, so a little bit of extra water. And look at these boards. I still have a few shelves to put up. I like these for the shelves the best. Um, but it's stored in here, it's up on styrofoam that is on top of plastic, so I think it'll all stay pretty nice in here until I get ready to use it. But uh, yeah, a couple more shelves and then this, Hmm, I may need to cut it down a little bit, but I have an idea for a project with it. While I'm out here, I might as well start the generator up because you got to start it every once in a while. All right, oh yeah, half choke, half choke. Oh, over here. Let's see how easily this starts up. I found this fallen tree out way in the back of my woods and it's up off the ground. It has probably been down for a while and it goes all the way over here. I could cut this up pretty easily and I broke off one of the limbs. Don't know if you can see it, but I'm pretty sure this is cedar. Mm, it smells like cedar. So I don't know if I'm going to get this today because I'm mostly just getting smaller stuff and kindling type stuff. But I am definitely going to cut this thing up and see see if it is ac actually cedar. You guys tell me, what do you think? Is it cedar? Look at this. This is pretty interesting. It may be something I can use to line one of the shelves, the edges. It's got some interesting features. I won't know until I actually get it in and hold it up. It might not. I'm going to have to take some of these mushrooms off. But it might not be straight enough. I don't know. I'm going to bring it in and see if it'll work. Not very much. It's just a little bit. And I'm going to take this and put it out in the shed. This one, I'm going to see if I can use it on one of the shelves. Oh, that was just an old piece of cedar that I cut that I left outside accidentally. I'm going to bring it inside. Got a few pine cones, but I get at least this much every day because I used a lot of kindling. I'll have to cut up some of this with a bow saw because I can't boot stomp it. But it's a never ending of coming and going of wood. It fits perfect. Well, I did have to cut it a little bit so that it would be, I wanted it to overhang this this way a little bit. So as you're looking at it this way, you don't see like that. <laughs> and then I put another piece over here. And this right here, as far as the fungus is concerned, it's actually supposed to be on the bottom. But with the shape of this, I needed to just to be like that. So, um and it tapers a little bit over here, that's okay. And I got another piece put over on the side. So these two shelves are done. I love it. Now I just need to find some limbs that'll look good on this one and get one more shelf up here. You know, I woke up this morning and I was kinda 
low on energy, kind of demotivated, didn't really know what I wanted to do, but then I just started doing stuff, and one thing led to another, and each little thing that I accomplished just made me feel better. So yeah, I mean, it, it could be something as simple as gathering wood or finding, you know, a piece of wood to bring into my house to trim something up or um, hauling water, whatever it is. It just makes me feel more accomplished. And, you know, living the way I do, it ain't easy. You got to keep going. You got to keep yourself moving. There is no time for you to be demotivated or whatever. You got to work through whatever lack of energy or, you know, discomfort you have and just keep moving. Anyhow, it's a great day. That's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.